look, I can admit my mistakes. I can I call a spade a spade. Okay, I was one of those people that was shitting on this movie without seeing it because I'm just so scarred and just burnt down from Transformers. Alright, so I'm still catching up on the 2018 movies that I missed out on and a couple of movies that I do want to mention today that I skipped out on not so much because I didn't want to see them but because they wasn't on my top priority list of movies to see first one I want to talk about is Green Book uh, my boy uh, my boy Q reviews did a review on this man he gave it a really good review and I was like okay I said this looks interesting because honestly when I first saw the trailer to Green Book I was like looks like another driving Miss Daisy I didn't care for Driving Miss Daisy, so I was like, okay, I think I'm going to skip this one. But then when I watched it, I said, this shit's actually really good. <laughs> it does kind of have that Driving Miss Daisy kind of thing to it, but in reverse. Okay, instead of the black man driving the white woman around, the Italian man is driving the brother around. And it's cool to see uh, Italian and black getting along, because if you look at the history of film and whatnot, especially like with Scorsese movies and The Sopranos, uh, Italians are not too fond of the brothers. My fucking head open, a fucking jigaboo cock sucking motherfuckers. Okay, forget that. But I guess the Italians can get uh, a pass on that one. I guess because Italians are almost black themselves. So they're really close to being black. Some of them are more black than we are. So they get a pass for that. But listen, um, I guess Green Book is nominated for some Oscars, like for Best Picture, uh, Best Actor for Vigo, Best Actor for uh, Marshala Ali. And rightfully so, like, definitely, if I did my top ten list over again after watching Green Book, I definitely would put Green Book in the top ten. Next movie I want to talk about is Bumblebee. Look, I can admit my mistakes. I can, I call a spade a spade, okay? I was one of those people that was shitting on this movie without seeing it because I'm just so scarred and just burnt out from Transformers. I didn't care to see another Transformers movie again. Like, I was done Honestly, I was done after Revenge of the Fallen. I had no desire to watch a Transformers movie ever again. And we had, what, three sequels since Revenge of the Fallen. And then when Bumblebee was announced, I was like, I don't care. When I saw the trailer, I was like, I don't care. But then I kept hearing reviews on it, uh, mostly positive reviews. And I'm like, you know what, man, so what? I still don't want to watch this Transformers. Transformers sucks now. It's whatever, whatever. So I say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and check this out. And man, was I surprised by how much I enjoyed the movie. Still, there were some parts about it that, of course, I did not like. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm going to give the movie like an A or A plus or nothing like that. But there were parts of Bumblebee where it really took me back to what I loved about the original Transformers. Like, the Transformers that I grew up on. This is the only Transformers toy that I still own. And I had, like, a whole collection of them. And Soundwave is the only one that made it. Soundwave superior, Constructicons inferior. You got the touch. You got the power. I'm such a fucking dork. <laughs> So it took me back to what I loved about the original Transformers, and plus, I'm a sucker for nostalgia. I love the 80s. I grew up in that time. So all the pop culture references, the 80 references, they even gave a shout out to Judd Nelson. And I don't know if it's because of the director's love for The Breakfast Club, or if they was trying to, you know, uh, pay homage to him uh, playing Hot Rod in the Transformers movie that came out in 87, which, by the way, I hated Hot Rod, all right? I may fall into the minority of people that actually thought the Transformers the movie was mediocre just because the first 30 minutes of it was ill up until Optimus Prime died. After Prime died, the movie went to shit and I hated Hot Rod and I hated Judd Nelson for voicing Hot Rod. So yeah, fuck Hot Rod. The moment the movie came on, that battle on Cybertron, I thought was ill. I seen all the Transformers that I grew up watching as a kid and that the toys that I played with, I was like, holy shit. And just the movie itself, like, it just had a good energy about it. It didn't try to throw a whole bunch of shit at the screen and explosions and over-the-top sexual references. It was actually a really fun movie. And the best thing I liked about it was the relationship between Bumblebee and Charlie. And that was the thing that I liked about the 2007 Transformers movie is that um, the relationship between Bumblebee and Sam, okay? 
But Michael Bay kind of got away from that and made it all about the explosions and the action. But it's like, it, it's the small moments, it's the relationships that make these movies really good. And I really thought that worked with Bumblebee. Uh, my gripes about the film, though, is that I thought the characters were weak. There were really no good supporting characters. Besides Charlie and Bumblebee, everybody else I could care less about. I thought the villains were cool. It was cool seeing Optimus Prime, but I didn't really like Charlie's family. Uh, the nerd black kid that lived next door that was obsessed with her. Something about him just rubbed me the wrong way. I'm like, dude, like, nah. I just, I just wasn't feeling none of the characters. The John Cena character I thought was kind of comical. He was a little over the top and... I mean, he, it could have been corny, but to me, it wasn't corny. I thought it worked. I think John Cena has a really good uh, screen presence, and I want to see him in more stuff. As a matter of fact, I was looking at John Cena, and I'm thinking, this dude would make a good Terminator. If they ever wanted to reboot the Terminator and leave Arnold behind and just let Arnold just be, I think John Cena would be a perfect replacement to play the Terminator. What y'all think? So anyways, y'all, the whole point of making this video is to just shout out the films that I missed out on 2018. Bumblebee would not make my top 10 list, okay? But for what it was, I did enjoy it because I thought I was going to hate it. I thought I was going to really dislike this film, and I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to watch it with my kids. I know my little guy's going to love it because uh, he likes the Transformers and stuff like that, so I can't wait to show him that movie. But yeah, Bumblebee, I was pleasantly surprised. Green Book was the shit. It deserves all the Oscar nominations. Now, speaking of the Oscar nominations, real quick, I just want to touch on that real quick. How the hell... And don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on Black Panther. How the hell did Black Panther get all those Oscar nominations and Infinity War only got one? Am I the only one that thought Infinity War was a way superior movie than Black Panther? I mean, I'm just saying, man. Like, look, I'm, I'm not just going to say I love Black Panther just because it's black. No, you got to call a spade a spade, man. If a film is great, a film is great. Yes, I love seeing black star power on the screen. Don't get me wrong. I love seeing that shit. But if you got to call the best film... Black Panther over Infinity War, man, miss me with that shit, man. I'm sorry, but then again, it's just my opinion, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's just what I think about it. So, y'all, have you seen Bumblebee and Green Book? What did you think about it? Comment freely below. Um, recommend any other movies that I might have missed out on for 2018 that, that you highly recommend that I should check out and uh, do another one of these uh, late-to-the-party reviews that I'm doing, like, right now, okay? So, guys, comment freely below. Thank you for watching. As always, this is Rashad G signing out. If you dig the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. See you in the next video.